pleasure for me to introduce somebody who um, loves this university. Somebody who was a great uh, 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 coach at Hamilton, great assistant coach at Colorado and at Lowell. He's ready to lead this program to make it a national champion. Uh, I'm convinced, as Dana said, not only was Dana convinced, but our search committee was unanimously convinced that Norm Bazin is a person to lead this hockey program to the next level. Please welcome our hockey coach, Norm Bazin. <laughs> generous introduction, both uh, Dana and Chancellor Meehan. <clears throat> I, I love the challenges. When I met with uh, Marty, I, I certainly felt the passion in his voice in challenging anybody he met with to love the university as much as he did. And I think I got my point across uh, that day that uh, I was both um, as passionate about winning and as passionate about the school as Marty himself. So I'm excited to, uh, to hear those words today. To start off, I'd just like to say I see a lot of familiar faces out there and it's terrific, terrific. It's an honor and a privilege to be standing before you today as your next head coach and to start a new chapter, quite honestly, in UMass Little Hockey. We've got a lot of things uh, now here on campus that uh, weren't exactly here when I left in 2000 it's a wonderful feeling to come back and see the campus re-energized from the faculty to the administrative arm. It's, uh, it's, it's terrific. It's, it's really, truly terrific. I'd like to start by saying thank you to all the people that served on the search committee. Uh, I'd like to think we did a, a very thorough job. I feel very fortunate to be standing up here as the last man standing. Uh, first and foremost, Chancellor Meehan, Thank you for coming back. What you've been able to accomplish here in four short years is amazing. I hope I can uh, uh, follow your footsteps with this hockey program that way. Athletic Director Dana Skinner, who I've known for an awful long time. Dana was the athletic director when I uh, finished off here as a student, uh, I guess an associate or an assistant at that time. In any case, he's been here ever since and has done some great work. And he and Marty are really changing the face of hockey here at uh, UMass Lowell. Uh, I'd like to also thank the UML uh, faculty and staff, and, and some of you are sitting in the crowd, and uh, good thing Don I didn't have to bear hug anybody after uh, something didn't go well for him. Uh, really, there, a lot of you I've, I've known for a number of years. I haven't got back here as much as I would like throughout the years, but every time I do come back, there's some great hockey people that are still here and uh, a lot of you I've seen and I look forward to uh, rekindling some of those relationships. The uh, hockey alumni group, uh, and I heard Marty uh, challenge you tonight, we are a group that will be better. We will grow just like the hockey program grows and we will bring everyone together and have a unified group that does a lot, uh, a lot of great things here going forward. So I'm excited for that. I'd like to also take a moment to acknowledge uh, former coaches who brought me into the business or let me uh, go forward with my career. First and foremost, Tim Whitehead, who brought me here in 1996 to be his assistant coach. Um, Scott Owens, who hired me at Colorado College and helped establish a winning culture there for eight seasons. Uh, John Hine, who's an alum of Hamilton and brought me in that Hamilton and knew very well when I came to interview for this opportunity that was an opportunity that was very close to my heart. So, John Hyden, thank you for that. And lastly, and most importantly, my family. My uh, oldest son, Blake, my youngest, Colston, and uh, my beautiful wife, Michelle. They've supported me throughout the years and are here again to, uh, to support this uh, press conference. I'd like to start off by, by touching upon Marty's accomplishments. The bar has been set very high here uh, from Marty and his leadership group. And having a unique vision for growth and development is very important for the hockey team because we plan to be a microcosm of that same growth and development here on campus. He mentioned something about being vested. I want everybody to be vested in several different elements of their education. Community is one, obviously. The academic piece, 
graduating with a world-class degree from Lowell will serve them well for the rest of their lives. But to be a part of this growth and development is very exciting for both uh, myself, my staff, and the players standing here today. We're excited to show the results that will come with time, and its progress will take some time. It will take some time. It'll take a lot of hard work, some determination, but I can tell you, standing here, I've been through it as a player and as a coach. It will come. Our expectations for not just our own staff and players, but from everybody involved is excellence. Nothing more, nothing less. I don't ask anything of my players that I don't ask of myself, and that's excellence on and off the ice. As I mentioned earlier, the degree you receive from UMass Lowell will serve you for life. We expect to compete for the three major championships, okay? Marty mentioned the uh, national championship, but I'd like to also say I've been involved with four league championships and I crave to do it again. First of all, the Hockey East regular season championship, which is so elusive to win, the Hockey East playoff championship, and a nice national title. We want to be in a position to contend and compete for that every single season. But to achieve that level of success, as mentioned earlier, we need the help of both the alumni group, our great fans, and the community as a whole. We will play a style that is a puck possession game, an up-tempo style that relies on speed and toughness. And I'm sure these guys standing in the back of the room can make that adjustment very quickly. There will be no easy points at the Sangas Arena. We intend to make this style of play our trademark and make the Sangas become a very tough place to get points for opposing teams. Lastly, I just want to say how excited I am for the opportunity. I really appreciate it. There's no question that I'm uh, uh, raring to go. I, I think that uh, I would have started uh, working here yesterday if they had let me, but they uh, in insisted on having this press conference first. <laughs> I understand the challenge, and I welcome the, uh, the opportunity. Thank you very much.